Okay, Bowser's gonna move to the garage next. I know that. And I just hung up the phone for Mario, so he just left. Okay, good. I can call the phone on Bowser, because I can actually lure him back to the same room. I don't... And not just call him when he's in a room. So that's a good thing. Oh, we just, I didn't realize so now, but we just jumped into part four of the Let's Play of going for the good ending. So this will be part four since I did say part three was the previous video. Hopefully we can beat the f this room in part four and then get the good ending in the cellar. Because I'm trying to get the good ending. But this room is hard as hell. Mario, hang up the phone! Okay, I can still call the phone on Bowser since he's still in the study, so that's a good thing. And then hopefully the phone will recharge in time for me to deal with Ashley, because otherwise I'm just going to get pissed if she kills me. Okay, I'm watching Bowser on the camera, so that's what I need to do. Checking for Bowser. Okay, it's almost done recharging, so that's a good thing. So that means I can call the phone on Ashley. When she arrives, speak of the devil, here she is. Gotta call the phone on her. And then Bowser's gonna move to the garage next, which is this camera right here. Okay, Mario came, but I hung up the phone, so it's a good thing. Bowser's still in the study, good. Hopefully I can keep him in his place so that he doesn't kill me. Because he gave me so much issues in the last video. Okay, almost done recharging, good, so I can call the study, or I can lure him back if he goes to the garage. Okay, I can call him now, so that's a good thing. I can call the study, in case he decides to leave. So far, he hasn't really left. I mean, he only moved to the garage, but I brought him back to the study with the phone. So that's a good thing. And good thing it's recharging, so that means I can be able to react in time to Ashley, which I couldn't react to her or Bowser in time in part three. Mario's here, gotta hang up the phone. Bowser's still in the study, so that means I can bring him back there. And I hope the phone recharges. Oh, it's almost done recharging, so that's a good thing. Ashley is here, so I gotta hang up the, f so I gotta call the phone in the, s the bedroom. And then Bowser's gonna move to the garage, so I gotta deal with him once the phones are charged. Okay, Mario, get rid of him. I already hung up the phone, Mario, so you can leave. Bowser moved to the garage, but I can bring him back to the study, so it's a good thing. And we made it to 5 a.m., so that's good. Alright, let's get Bowser back to the study. I just called the study. There we go, brought him back to the study, so that's a good thing. And we've beaten part four, going for the good ending in the third, the second bedroom. Sorry. Oh, finally we beat it. Okay, now we can activate the good ending in the bunker. Since we have all the music box pieces, so now we can go into night five and activate the music box in the bunker because we got all the pieces. All you gotta do is click on it, and you do not have to do the night. Oh. oh. Oh, there's Link. He's winding up the music box, so that's a good thing. Huh? There you are. There you are, I mean. <laughs> Sorry if that's a bad warrior voice. That music. That music. Wait a minute. You're not the one. That's right. What? 
I'm the one you're looking for. There's Bruno Gant, of course. Oh, we got Warrior and the gang confronting Bruno Gates, and there's Link in the middle of it. Long ago, I used the suit to commit crimes I couldn't handle. Afterwards, I couldn't pass it on just like you. I realized what I had done, and ever since, I have searched for you to tell you that I'm sorry. Can you ever forgive me? After so long. I mean, after so long. That's from Mario. Sorry, I didn't mean it. I thought it was Mario, but it's Mario. We forgive you. Up oh, and Wario and the gang. What's going on? Oh, their souls have been put to freedom, put to rest. Okay. Okay, so this is the same good ending as with Financial Warriors 3. It's the same good ending. Where the souls of Wario and the gang are freed and put to rest. There they go. And, the, and all the characters return to normal. I didn't expect to lose my vessel so quickly. No matter, I'll catch up with the others and... Wait, this feeling. Is this real? Did he apologize? After all this time? I feel relief. Alright, there goes Peach. The souls are being freed and put to rest now. There we go. And we got the good ending, so that's good. All the souls are now in a heavenly place now. You may rest now, Wario and the gang. Alright, we can skip it, so that's good. I'm sorry if that was a bad... If, if those were bad voices. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. I have terrible voice acting when it comes to some of these characters. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got next. Okay, so the next thing we unlocked is, is epilogue mode. So I'm going to check that out real quickly. Okay, so that's epilogue mode. Which we'll do in the next video. Let's see what we unlocked in that. What else we unlocked? Okay, we have unlocked the extras since we got the good ending. So let's take a look at the extras. Okay, it gives descriptions about the characters. Alright, here's Wario. With, War with WarioWare Inc.'s second fire putting the building out of commission for good, Wario and his company hid in the shadows until a new opportunity arose. In that time, Bowser accidentally burned his face off, resulting in the skeletal appearance you see now. As you can see right there. Waluigi. After the second fire, Waluigi hid in the shadows with the rest of the group. The elements were not kind to him during this time, hence the blood and the dirty clothes. Okay, for Mario, with the second fire, Mario had to hide with the rest of the group. Upon discovering Richard McCroy's old home, he took the time to practice his skills in manipulating technology, leaving many appliances to act on. His increase in skill is reflected in his pixelated eyes. Alright, next one's Luigi. With Wario Wink out of business for good, Luigi... Sorry, with Wario Inc. out of business for good, Luigi left Richard McCroy's body, leaving the job of controlling him to Peach. Upon returning to his body, he had to catch up with the others, getting wounded several times on the way there, which is shown by the blood all over him. Peach. With Luigi out of Richard McCroy's body, Peach took it upon herself to abandon her body and possess Richard McCroy. During the events of Those Nights of Warriors 3, she, she roams the streets in Richard's body, calling Link on night four and drawing the attention of the police as the week goes on. 
Oh, and there's actually a description of like who made the characters, like um, right there. Ashley, with the stability of WarioWare Inc. gone, there was now a struggle to support the large group of cursed beings. Because of this, Wario had Ashley abandon her witch witchery for the time being, having her to be more focused on helping to catch the one. She has gotten dirty along the journey to the McCrory house, hence the dirt and grime all over her. But of course, in that ending, they all return normal. Yoshi. Yoshi had been with the group almost since the beginning, but has always been seen as useless. As such, when it came to the journey to Richard to the McCoy house, not much care went into ensuring Yoshi's safety, resulting in the numerous wounds all over his body that can be seen today. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong works as a freelance security guard at security at the Security Incorporation. His intimidating appearance left an impression on Link even though he turned out to be very friendly. Because of this, as the stress that's doing grows, Link begins to hallucinate a more frightening Donkey Kong coming to get him. And then Toad. As the building burned down a second time, Toad managed to escape. His soulless body caught up to the others, where he joined them on their journey to the McCoy house, though he did get a bit burnt to the, in the fire. Even now, he prefers to hide away, only coming out when he has to. Bowser. As the building burned again, Bowser found himself burnt and buried under rubble. He managed to escape, losing a horn in the process. During the journey to the McCoy House, he accidentally spewed flames on a Wario, on a Wario burning his face off. Wario ordered Ashley to release the curse on him, but Ashley insisted that Bowser was too useful. As a compromise, Wario severely damaged Bowser's throat ensuring he wouldn't spew fire again. Oh wow, that's actually pretty disturbing. Bruno. Bruno Gate, the one behind the original murders, continues his search for the victims he killed. He thought he'd finally find them at Warrior Inc., but the building burned down the night he went to check. He would continue to wander and search until he heard a strange music box play from within a large house. Who's next? Okay, Rosalina. As the Watcher of Cos the Cosmos, Rosalina has a lot on her plate, however, the threat of Wario and his group posed was too great to ignore. As a result, she would send them back in time once they killed Link in the McCoy house. This causes everything to loop until Ros Rosalina sends them back again and again. The only way to break the cycle would be to have someone else encounter the group before her. Oh, there's backgrounds. Oh, these are the backgrounds of Wario, Wario, okay, uh, from WarioWare. Okay, this, this is WarioWare Factory. This is Wario's Incorporation. That's the McCoy house right there. Alright, so, alright, so anyways, I will end my video here. We will take on the epilogue mode in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.